Hi, my name is Michelle Kunz. I'm a nursing educator and I'm here to demonstrate or explain to you what the basic EKG is all about. So the sinus node is in the right atrium. When it fires, it sends electricity through your right atrium and what you get on your EKG picture is a P wave. Electricity then goes from the right atrium over to the left atrium and depolarizes the left atrium and you get another P wave when that happens. So you do have two P waves. But on most of us, all you end up seeing is the one P wave because electricity moves pretty fast. Now on older people, or maybe patients who have pulmonary problems, COPD, emphysema, sometimes in the atrium the electricity will slow down and you can almost see the two P waves. I've drawn a little picture right down here of what they call notched P waves doesn't usually affect cardiac output, so I think we usually just ignore it. We might document in our notes that we see that. The electricity then goes down through the atrium down to the AV node. Now the AV node will slow the electricity up before it ships it down quickly through the ventricles. And when it does slow it down, you end up getting a PR interval. And we do measure that with little teeny boxes on our EKG, and I'll show you that later. So we measure a PR interval to see how long or how short it takes the electricity to get down through the atrium, down through the AV node to the ventricles. When the electricity does get down through the ventricle, the right ventricle, you get depolarization of the ventricle and you get a QRS picture. Energy also goes to your left ventricle and you get another QRS. And most of us, the electricity goes down very quickly and end up with one picture but perhaps in older people after an MI or those of us who have heart uh, blocks, um, sometimes you end up seeing actually the two QRSs. So you'll see an R up and then another R. So those are the two QRSs you can almost see. But in most of us healthy hearts, you see the one QRS picture. And we do call that R up and R down and S and T wave. T wave you probably know is ventricular repolarization or the resting phase. There's one other thing I'd like to point out and that is the Q wave. We didn't really mention that before when we said measure the PR interval. Now Q waves off of the baseline is the first downward deflection. This one is a little Q wave. You really need to have deep Q waves and more than three leads on your 12 EDKG, but that would be significant if you had that, that would mean that you have had a previous MI. So Q waves, especially if they're very deep, signify a previous MI. So then we'll know a patient has a cardiac history as well. If a patient has elevated T waves or ST elevation, that might signify that the patient is having cardiac issues right now probably an MI, a myocardial infarction. So that is basic electrical conduction through our heart. Atrial depolarization gives us the P waves. Ventricular depolarization gives us the QRS, but we know it's R up and R down. And then S and T, T wave being ventricular repolarization. So thank you for your time. I hope you learned something and I look forward to teaching you more about EKGs in my other videos. Thank you and goodbye.